Okay, so I was literally in tears when I heard that Israel and the UAE officially made peace. This is a dream of mine as an Israeli, to see peace in the Middle East. We Israelis want peace with our neighbors. We hate the conflict. You know, many people didn't believe this could ever happen. This is the greatest achievement between Israel and the Arab world in the last 26 years. President Trump brokered this peace agreement between Prime Minister Netanyahu and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed of the UAE. Remember his face. This Arab leader was brave enough to take a stand for a better future to be a pioneer in making peace in the Middle East. It's the third formal peace agreement between Israel and an Arab nation. In 1979, Israel made peace with Egypt. In 1994, Israel made peace with Jordan. And today, Israel made peace with the UAE. The Arab world is realizing that Israel is not the problem in the Middle East. Israel is an ally. And as you can imagine, the Palestinians were very angry with this move. And as always, when they are mad, they burnt images of the Crown Prince, Netanyahu and Trump, including the flag of the UAE. You know, these radicals are mad because peace with Israel spoiled their terrorist dream of destroying Israel. That's why Hamas condemned this move. Hezbollah condemned it. Turkish dictator Erdogan condemned it and even threatened to suspend ties with the UAE for making peace with Israel. The Islamic regime in Iran said that this move will not bring peace. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that a regime that shoots protesters, jails women, journalists, and sponsors terrorism can lecture us on how to bring peace. Let me tell you something. They are part of the problem, not the solution. These leaders thrive when conflict thrives and they lose when peace thrives. They can eat their hearts as much as they want we know that peacemakers are part of the future and terrorists have no future. The Palestinian leadership has been lying to the Arab world for decades. They played the victim card while turning down any peace offer made by Israel. We want peace with the Palestinians, but their leadership prefers a peace that doesn't include Israel on the map. The Palestinian leadership never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. And Frankly, the Arab world doesn't want to take part in missing historic opportunities. Honestly, they are sick and tired of the Palestinians whining all the time instead of moving forward in life and with peace. You know, in 2018, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia said that the Palestinians must make peace or shut up. I think that this is what most of the Arab leaders think as well. It's also important to mention that other Arab nations like Egypt Jordan, Oman and Bahrain actually applauded the peace agreement between Israel and the UAE. We live in historic times. We will probably see more peace agreements in the near future. I hope that this will become an era of peace in the Middle East and that conflict will become part of the past. Share this video.